Starlet made it big by trying to prove the theory that men and women can be just friends. You're saying I'm having sex with these men without my knowledge? No, what I'm saying is they all want to have sex with you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the career of actress Meg Ryan. I'm not the protagonist in a major motion picture. <laughs> Margaret Mary Emily Ann Hira was born on November 19, 1961, in Fairfield, Connecticut. She grew up the preppy daughter of two elementary school teachers and eventually relocated to New York to pursue a university degree in journalism. Like I'm going to journalism school to become a reporter. So you can write about things that happen to other people. However, an opportunity to make extra cash as an actress in commercials soon presented itself. She quickly adopted the screen name Meg Ryan and landed her debut Hollywood role as Candace Bergen's daughter in 1981's Rich and Famous. These early acting opportunities prompted Ryan to drop out of school and relocate to California. Fortunately, that decision paid off as she landed a recurring role on the short-lived sitcom One of the Guys. Up next came a two-year stint on the soap opera As the World Turns and a part in the horror film Amityville 3D. Do you know you could have sex with a ghost? Really? Yeah, really, I've been reading up on it. Her newfound career really began to heat up when she took on the part of an exuberant military wife in 1986's blockbuster Top Gun. Following this, she not only landed a major role in the sci-fi comedy Inner Space, but she also developed a romantic relationship with her miniaturized co-star Dennis Quaid, and the two later married. It was around this time Ryan became a certifiable movie star. This was due to her unforgettable performance in the 1989 romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally, opposite Billy Crystal. The film not only showcased her ability to demonstrate a fake orgasm in public, but also ensured her top billing in future projects. These films included not one, but three rom-coms with co-star Tom Hanks in the 1990s. The first time I saw you, felt like I'd seen you before. You're not going anywhere without me. Joe vs. the Volcano, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail. The man who is coming here tonight is kind and funny. He's got the most wonderful sense of humor. But he's not here. She also began starring in more dramatic projects. These included her portrayal of an alcoholic in When a Man Loves a Woman and a doctor involved with a messenger of God in City of Angels. I'll wait all day just hoping for one more minute with you and I don't even know you. What do you want to know? Despite these films, she resonated best with fans when taking on lighter subject matter in fluffy projects like IQ and French Kiss. As she regularly dominated the box office, Ryan was at this time considered one of the most powerful people in Hollywood. I am in command here! She then seized the opportunity to demonstrate her diverse acting chops. Great, the captain's crying. It's just tension, asshole. It doesn't mean shit. She co-starred opposite Denzel Washington as a military captain in the Gulf War film Courage Under Fire and voiced the character of Anastasia in the 1997 animated film of the same name. Unfortunately, as the millennium drew to a close, so did her 10-year marriage to Quaid. This was caused by an extramarital affair with her Proof of Life co-star Russell Crowe. Though she managed to recapture the rom-com genre with the film Kate and Leopold, she soon realized that her girl-next-door image had been permanently tarnished. As a result, Ryan emerged with a tougher, sexier look and tried her hand at more dramatic roles. She portrayed a teacher who was caught up in an erotic affair in the film In the Cut and appeared as a boxing manager in Against the Ropes. I'll start a scrapbook for you as soon as we get our first fight. Unfortunately, both failed to register with moviegoers and critics. Because of these letdowns, and because of competition from younger actresses, Ryan decided to spend several years away from the limelight. During that time, she adopted her second child. When she made her Hollywood comeback, she took on more middle-aged roles, including that of a suburban wife in 2007's coming-of-age comedy, The Land of Women. Afterwards, she joined an all-female cast in The Women and played a high-powered attorney who was getting even with her cheating husband in the dark comedy, Serious Moonlight. Despite turmoil in recent years, Meg Ryan will forever be considered Hollywood's most wholesome starlet of the 80s and 90s. Not only recognizable for acute, bubbly, and befuddled personas, she managed to capture and hold the hearts of countless hopeless romantics. Must have been my kiss is all I can think. Drives men wild. 
that's right. <laughs> <laughs>